Okay, I've decided to conduct a very burned Heinrich-like experiment, or one that is kind of inspired by something he would do. Um, I've been harvesting radishes, and I noticed that a lot of them have these little holes in them. And I've experienced this before. I know that they're infested when they have that with some kind of larva. I've opened one up, and uh, sure enough, it's got it's got some larva of some insect in there. I don't know if you can see that, but there's little maggots in there, little white maggots. So, um, what I thought I would do is I'm going to take actually um, one or two of these infested roots, or the roots that I know have these uh, larvae in them, and I'm just going to uh, put them in a jar. Put some dirt on them. Dirt in the jar. To simulate um, you know the environment that they're in. What I'm thinking is um, whatever it is that comes and infests these radishes are, is probably also infest the wild radishes here. So there's probably already a, a, a insect that lives off radishes here and um, it just taps into these garden radishes just as it would the, the wild ones. So I'm gonna uh, cap this off and uh, I'll probably put a couple of holes in here or something just to let a little air in there. Not too, not too big of holes though. And I'm just gonna leave this for however long it takes for these larvae to do their thing in the in the radishes, pupate um, into whatever they're going to become and emerge, and so I can see what it is the insect. And so it might take a while; it might take a whole year for all I know. It might not be till next summer that the uh, adults emerge, but we'll see. Yeah, it should have been one of the first things that came to my mind, but it wasn't. Anyway, um, I do also have the wild radish species growing as a weed in my garden so finally thought uh, toward the end of my weed and to check these um, some of them like the regular radishes some of them are good and yet others are uh, infected this one has the telltale signs of the uh, infestation so um, yeah so I do think it's the same culprit at hand with the wild ones and probably is just indigenous to here and um, you know because the wild ones are here and it goes from the wild ones to the cultivars and that's it.